Hello, today I am going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of hamsters. There are a lot of things you need to take into consideration before you um, get a hamster. If you already have a hamster, then there's no harm in learning more. So first, I'm going to start with the negative side, don'ts. Do not ever kiss your hamster. Even though, like, some hamsters might be like, really cute and tiny, and you're like, oh, I really want to kiss them. Don't, because you can pass them diseases, and they can pass you diseases. Sometimes you do not want those diseases. Also, don't use pine or cedar bedding slash shavings, because it can cause respiratory problems. Instead, used, um, use, like, paper-based bedding or aspen bedding, because they're a little healthier. Also, do not ever use, um cotton as um as like a nesting material because like cotton is like really stringy so it can get caught around their teeth and feet and cause them to lose body parts instead use toilet paper it's not as soft but it's still softer than most beddings and can be used as a bedding material but however make sure it is non-scented and not bleached um, because that can cause digestive problems because hamsters like to stuff their bedding in their cheeks and um, yeah well mine do anyways and this is just like healthier for them because also um, it will dissolve better like it's easily dissolved um, well easier than cotton so if they do swallow it then th it'll be easier to digest. Um, also, never pick your hamster up by the eels, ta ears, tail, fur, or any other individual body parts. Pick them up, like scoop, pick them up, um, and make sure you like you um, pick up their entire body. I will have another video later on separately just how to um, pick up your hamster. And those are just like the basics, they're also like, don't feed your hamster this list of foods, or like, don't stick your hamster out in the sun because they can bake, and I'm sure you do not want to have a fried hamster. Uh, and yeah, so let's move on to the do's. Do feed your hamster daily, and don't overfeed them, because then they'll get really fat, and hamsters need exercise and they need to be able to get on their wheel and you have to change their water bottles one to two times a week some of you might say oh but well, their water bottle is still full then don't fill their water bottle up the, all the way because their water bottle if left in the sun can collect um, bacteria and dirt that you do not not dirt um, bacteria and stuff that you do not want your hamsters ingesting also, play with your hamster for at least half an hour every day. If you have multiple hamsters, then you will spend half an hour for each hamster. Not half an hour for every hamster. Not half an hour altogether. Half an hour for each hamster. This may take a lot of time, but if you want, you got a hamster, then you take care of your hamster. And that's just pretty much about the do's and don'ts of hamsters. Also, yeah.